Just before takeoff, I press the safety switch on each drone. If the drone passes all the pre-flight safety tests, its light turns green. If I had a hundred drones, I'd probably skip this step. The ground control station has two laptops. The main one on the left is running Skybrush Live. The backup one on the right is running Skybrush Sidekick. To the left of the main computer is the RC radio transmitter. The RTK antenna and the Wi-Fi router are on the tripod. I start the 10 second countdown with a switch on the RC controller. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That window on the bottom left displays the show in Skybrush Viewer, exactly the way it was planned using Blender Studio. At the show line, now rotate the show line 360 degrees clockwise. Now transition to the chicken pass setup. First chicken pass. Pow. Second chicken pass. Pow. Now transition to the start of a vertical spiral. Following a vertical spiral path. The drones in front of an invisible vertical plane are white, and when they go behind it, they're magenta. Now transition to a horizontal circle. And rotate clockwise while descending. Transition to the show line. Then transition to a pyramid shape. And rotate the base of the pyramid. Transition to an arc of a vertical circle and follow a big circular path all the way around. It 
was really dark out when I shot this video and the lights looked awesome against the dark sky. My iPhone just lightened up the video. Next I just spread the drones out and try a random sparkling effect. Now transition to a vertical circle and rotate the vertical circle clockwise. Here I transition to a blue show line and things get really scary. I tried Blender's wave modifier on the show line and things looked okay when I planned it but definitely got out of control when I flew it. Pretty scary. Woo, yeah, I won't be doing that again. Let's just transition to the final formation here. show line return to home 